to come to you. To come to you. If I gotta tell you all my secrets, I fuck with you. And that's the truth. And that's the truth. Baby girl, we got a nigga right in the mood. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Kit Carvey, and I'm here obviously with my nigga. Rob Boy Treezy. Rob Boy Treezy. You know what it is. You know what it is. Yeah, shout out to AUS Media, baby. If you're catching up with our latest topic, this is it right now. So, guys, before we start this whole shandies. We about to, you know, play you guys a nice performance by my nigga Rap Boy Treasy. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. Obviously, and obviously, I'm following next, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. we about to kill it, bro. And I hope yeah. you like it. Please do comment below if you like it. And for those who are just tuned in right now, comment and subscribe. Don't forget definitely, to subscribe. Definitely, definitely. Don't forget yes, to subscribe. Ready, Rap Boy Treasy? Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it, my nigga. I hope you guys like the performance, by the way. Let's yeah. go. Thanks for joining. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. I go by the name Rap Boy Treasy. Yes, sir. Yeah. Turn it up a bit. This is Let Them Say, my upcoming single. Yeah. So it's for all the lovers out there. Let them talk, let them gossip, let them fight a Sakumari. Let them say no, let them say no. Let them say no, I go marry Tell me what you want and I give it to you Tell me what you want and I give it to you Tell me what you want and I give it to you Tell me what you want, tell me, tell me what you want Tell me what you want and I give it to you Tell me what you want and I give it to you Tell me what you want and I give it to you Tell me what you want, tell me what you want It does go hate to be fake, show my mistake and your skin pain, it be pain. It does go hate to be fake. Show more mistake. And your skin pain, it the pain. Almost say my yes, say my yes, sir. Brabba me boy, ya kushi bra. Almost say my yes, say my yes, sir. I brabba me boy, ya kushi bra. Won't see your mama and your papa. My attention be pure. Diamond be pure. I don't need a pure. Wedding Monaco, house Trazaco. Diamond be pure. I don't need a pure. I don't need a pure. Let's go. Let them talk. Let them gossip, let them fight as I go marry. Let them say no, let them say no, let them say no, I go marry. Tell me what you want and I give it to you. Tell me what you want and I give it to you. Tell me what you want and I give it to you. Tell me what you want, tell me, tell me what you want. Tell me what you want and I give it to you. Tell me what you want and I give it to you. Tell me what you want and I give it to you Tell me what you want, tell me what you want Always on the road like a traffic light I defy money to you, treat you right Shayo day, woman day Every day be like saying a holiday Now only you be my honey boo I go carry you go down honey boo Now only you be my honey boo Hey honey boo, I'm over the moon Pay the baller, we go spray the dollar Me and my guys, we get the moolah we get the moolah, me and my guys, we get the moolah Let them talk, let them gossip Let them fight us, I go marry Let them say no, let them say no Let them say no, I go marry Tell me what you want and I give it to you Tell me what you want and I give it to you Tell me what you want and I give it to you Tell me what you want, tell me, tell me what you want Tell me what you want and I give it to you Tell me what you want and I give it to you Tell me what you want and I give it to you Tell me what you want, tell me what you want Yeah, if you, if you just join in, I go by the name Rapper Treasy And this is my upcoming single It's called Let Them Say yeah, thank you so much for joining in on our live you know we're entertaining you guys if you're on youtube streaming us thanks for joining in if you're on tiktok thanks for joining in i go by the name rabbi treasy i'm with my brother here kid carby yes, kid sir, it's your turn my brother let's yeah, get man. it i hope you guys enjoyed my niggas performance right here so so that's a track that's coming out like sooner than expected guys so this track by him is titled let him say and i hope you guys tune in guys it's a very spiritual song and you know yeah, you, you can hear what the lyrics and what he's saying on the message so yeah. guys tune into the lyrics listen to the message don't just listen to the beat guys yeah, yeah. you feel me yeah. but anyways getting to me now i'm about to play you guys my latest track titled um kid carvey in love with pain and i hope you guys really love this one so i wrote this song at the most 
Okay, when I was uh, at the most lowest point of my life, you know, and I thought, you know, giving up on music, giving up on everything, you know, but God said, no, let there be a way. That's so I right. hope you guys really love this and I hope you guys really tune in and tap in, hey? Yeah, yeah. So it's called in love with pain, ladies and gents. Oh, I've been broken many times, I fell in love with pain I'm watching all the people that love like me start to change Seeing players that are being swallowed by the game Looking at the world, everything is not the same I've been broken many times, I fell in love with pain Watching all the people that love like me start to change Seeing players that are being swallowed by the game Looking at the world, everything is like a game. I'm a heartbroken soul, but my heart made out of gold But people turn their backs to me, now I'm all alone Little did they know, I'm the next mic test And I'm a kid, I'm like, me and I just fight in front of the Everywhere I go, I'm a living in everything That's a promise, it's a promise You know when I pull up on my realest niggas Everywhere we go, we cause a maza Yeah, we cause a maza, maza Everywhere I go, I'm a living in everything That's a promise yeah. You know when I pull up on my realest niggas everywhere we go because I'm Maza How can we believe in love without a demonstration? Life is real and it's hard It's getting really tough for every oh, second I'm breaking many times I fell in love with pain I'm watching all the people that are like me start to change Seeing players that are being swallowed by the game Looking at the world, everything is not the same I've been broken many times, I fell in love with pain Watching all the people that love me start to change Seeing players that are being swallowed by the game Looking at the world, everything is not the same Lately I've been putting everybody in a friend zone Cause I've been seeing niggas walking with a mask on A lot of people really faking who they really are though So be careful who you fuck with though This life, this life is not for us Yeah, yeah. This life, this life is not for us I've been broken many times, I fell in love with pain Watching all the people that love me start to change Seeing players that are being swallowed by the game Looking at the world, everything is not the same hey. Not the same Yeah, yeah So yeah, ladies and gents, that is my um, single called Kid Carvey in love still together So now guys, our main topic for today now, After the... Glad you guys liked the performance Our main topic is still on the social media, right? So ladies and gents, we actually haven't actually gotten too deep into that, you know, because there's a lot of pointers we need to highlight, you know. A lot of people come comment with different type of things and different kind of, you know. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, bro. Otherwise, my nigga, how you doing, bro? Good, and you? You looking fly, right? Ah, my nigga, you know that we gotta look fly. It's AUS, baby, yeah, you know. AUS fly. always looking fly, baby. We fly, fly high, touch the sky, baby, you know yeah, what I'm saying, man? Flies. Yes, sir, yeah. yes, sir. So yeah, guys, um, tune in with us, you know. So, uh, my nigga... So, yeah. so now we're gonna get into this topic again, yeah? Definitely. So right now, I wanna ask you this question, you know? I feel like I did ask this question, but now we need to make it like thoroughly yeah. and make yeah. a thorough make statement it like, on yeah, it, you yeah. know? Yeah, make it black. Like so, um, how do you think, dog? Like, how do you think like social media affects a marriage, bro? Um, social media... Yeah, I think TikTok, the TikTok is... Please, TikTokers, can you mute for us? You know? Yeah, no, I muted it, it's fine. Can you mute for us, TikTokers? No, I muted it, it's fine. But they couldn't hear us, can you hear us? No, it doesn't matter, he's just talking in, in a different language. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. so, yeah, guys, yo, you were saying, bro. Yeah, no, so you you're actually... The topic. Yeah, how does social media affect your marriage, dog? Like a marriage? No, my dog. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. Okay, but how does how does how does how does social media like affect the marriage, guys? The marriage, right? Okay. So I think social media, in a way, if, you know, if people people are married, right? Yeah. It's it's like a union. <laughs> I'm going deep. <laughs> it's like a union, right? Yeah. So with that with that union comes 
expectations and you know, responsibilities and all that. Yeah. So there has to be a certain level of how do you call it? Uh, responsibility. If you're just joining on TikTok, thanks for joining. Yeah, thanks for liking our live. Oh, Sky Afraid, Sky Afraid to see you. Thanks for liking. Yeah. So it comes with a lot of a bit of like a, a responsibility that you, as a person, have to have to know that. Now that I'm married, I don't have to because social media takes attention. Like it's. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So it's, it's gonna take your attention, the attention that you're supposed to give your spouse, you're gonna give it to social media. You're gonna give it to the, if you're a nigga, you're gonna give it to the girls online. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Like, it's, yeah, that's right. Because especially like for married people, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, but if you are, if you are, if you are a nigga, you're gonna give it to the guys online. If you're a woman. You gotta give the attention to the to, to the, the niggas online. Yeah, so so everything will be now like you know online, like you know. So you you guys won't have time for each other. So I think in a marriage, for for let's say for people not to be bored always like with each other. Yeah, there should be always like a, a limit. Uh, how do I say it? Yeah, a limit. To, like to to yeah. limit your 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 your, your social media time. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, just have to limit it. Maybe you can just do it. Maybe thirty minutes a day, you know, yeah. an hour a day. Yeah, you know, it's more than enough. Yeah, yeah. but why not? You know, some like couples will be on on social media like every day, like you know, on hours and hours. Imagine guys coming back from work and then like you tired, you know, or maybe. You come back from work, obviously you're expecting some TLC, you know, some yeah. tender loving care. And then now you get home, you find your, your husband or your wife on, 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 on TikTok. And now yeah. they, they don't even like yeah. greet you the way, the way, the way you're they're supposed, supposed to, to, you know. Yeah. Now they just give you this, I don't know, this certain, certain vibe. Bro. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They give you a certain vibe that is like, you know, um, it's just based on social media. So now you're going to come back, for example, you're going to come back home. Say hi, baby. How are you? Oh no, I'm fine. And then the person is still here. You know, media. the person is just still here. Or yeah. Facebooking, and then also maybe if they got earphones on, and now you ask them a question, they'll just take off one headset, answer you after no, that's, after replying back. They put back the headset. No, that's, that's they carry really, on with whatever they're that's, doing. That's, that's really that's really bad. You know that that is that is if you want to lose your marriage, keep doing that, ladies and gents. <laughs> yeah. If, <laughs> If you want to lose your marriage, keep doing that. Yeah, but but if it's like a girlfriend situation, even that, right? Even if it's like a girlfriend situation or like a fiance situation, you still have to give your spouse attention. Yeah, bro. I mean, the attention you give people on social media is the attention you should be giving the people at home. You know, mm -hmm. it could be family, it could be friends. Yeah. Not not just marriage or spouse. Especially like like these days. It's, I think social media, in a way, has broken family because people don't sit, like, if you go to certain households, mm -hmm. they don't sit around the table and talk. Yeah, and actually, like, have a, a proper like conversation, this. you know? Everybody's like this. So, everybody's, like, it's, like, on their, on their phones. So because? Because they want, to be, they want to see what's going on. It's, like, you know, sort of, like, an anxiety if like you're missing out on yeah something. like if you're not on social media it's like you're really really missing out on something you know mm -hmm. so that's that's actually a bad thing ladies and gents yeah. like so that yeah that's i think bad, there should be man. some 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 form of control you know some form of control yeah yeah so then with the marriage i think there should be like sort of a, like a, a way to be able to like Handle that situation. Let's do this. I feel like everyone should actually limit their time on social media, you know? Yeah. Have that specific time where you're on social media. After social media, guys, naga your family. Naga abazalbe no nagani your families. Yeah. Show love to your people, you know? Yeah. Because yeah. back then when there was no social media, people they were interacting. Yeah, bro. you know, you have to they talk. Interacting, bro. You have to talk. Like, you are forced to talk, even though you don't want you to. You don't want to talk, even though you're angry and you don't have nothing to do. Just Talk. <laughs> you see, even though you're hungry, especially me, guys. Me, when I'm high, I don't talk, you know. 
I'd rather take my phone and be on my phone and be antisocial AF. But now, that's where I feel like that's where the problem starts, you yeah. know, because then now I don't give attention to like the people I met. I could be at a party or I could be at a gathering and then there's like so many people, bro. Ne? And then like I, I tend to not even like pay attention, pay attention or like, you know, I'm not there. I'm somewhere else. I'm deep within social media. I'm on yeah. hard on Instagram, you know, and I'm competing with someone, you know, for views or for yeah. likes. <laughs> You know, that's what we're doing right now. We're competing for views and likes, guys. Bro, but what does what does likes and views do? That's what builds up your social media, I guess, bro. Yeah. I mean and then and then and then, and then if you get it, then it's what? the ego. I mean like yeah, if you wanna be the it, you know, you wanna have more followers have and more. A views. lot of numbers, I have a lot of numbers, a lot of followers, a lot of likes. So basically it's sort of a, like a validation, right? Yeah, yeah. We can say that, yeah. It's like it puts your statement out there that yo guys, me I got followers, you know. Mm. I got a lot of followers that follow me on whatever I do. So if I say this, they will do it, you know. I feel like that's where the competition is. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, yeah, man. Which and then, good, yeah. which is a good topic, guys. Eh? Mm. So yeah, guys, for the ones who just tuned in now, like yo, our topic is still about social media, the social media effect, eh? Yeah, definitely. So yeah, Thanks bro. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, yeah, see Sky, Fred. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for joining. So, ladies and gents, uh, our next question, or like, yeah, our next question would be, how does social media actually affect students? Yo, oh, this is this is a proper one. I yeah. feel like we can meditate and sit down and talk on this mm -hmm. one. How does social media actually affect students, guys? Students in students in high school, students in varsity, students in you know whatever you're studying for. As long as you're a student, you're a student. So, how do you feel like social media affects students, bro? Um, it, I think it affects them. In, Comment below, people, and you know, help us also, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, so many ways, you know. Yeah. It affects them in, in so many different ways, like academically, emotionally. Especially academically, especially yeah. academically, yeah. Yeah, academically, emotionally, uh, mentally, you know, um, it's 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 it plays a huge role. India like daily lives because you know as a team we are so like so much influenced I'm, I'm not saying I'm a team <laughs> <laughs> but you were once a team so yeah you can yeah. say that yeah yeah so as a team you are easily influenced by friends friends yeah to, to do dumb stuff <laughs> especially dumb friends guys watch out for the friends you guys have eh? yeah. don't have a friend who, who who's stuck in the same in the same spot or like who, who's not evolving guys you mm. need to evolve in life grow learn new things you know yeah. learn new experiences you know go places you know explore things you know yeah so social media like you know academically if if like there's no control right but the parents don't like always pay attention to mm -hmm. what the child is doing with their phone mm -hmm. definitely it's gonna affect them, like, you know, academically. So I don't even think, if the child is from, let's, let's say, grade, is it grade 10 to 12, right? At least they can have a bit of time on social media. Mm -hmm. But below that, right? Below that, I don't think, you know. Also guys, like, another thing is that, like, how, how social media affects students, né? It's like, I, I can say it affects students in a way of they don't sleep. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Students don't sleep, guys, when they're on social media, especially during exam times. Mm. You are on Facebook or Instagram, you, yeah. are, you are competing or you are just watching reels, dumb things mm -hmm. that are just rotting your mind. Yeah. You're not learning nothing from that. You're supposed to be studying, but now you you on social media end up sleeping late you end up having also a poor eyesight mm. you know you, you get fatigued at school, at school you know yeah you, you don't perform well mentally you know you know Aha, one, mentally you, yeah. you know one thing what did they, they've done in china right you see the tiktok that's for for other part of the world <gasps> it's for dancing don't don't even mention it guys Thank you for mentioning. Thank you for for, for mentioning mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. ladies and gents. Like this is something that is deep. So what he's saying right now is that mm -hmm. in China, ne, uh, in the other world, they show us like 
the dancing parts the and then dancing and the tell them what they show them in China, bro. Educational stuff. <laughs> Listen, guys. Guys, our yeah. TikTok that we're seeing today in our countries, that is not the right TikTok. Us, we are busy competing on dancing. Who knows yeah, how to dance challenge better? Challenge. Bro, if you, if, you, if you guys actually go look at the TikTok in China or maybe look on a, on, a, on a Chinese person's page. No, I'm not being disrespectful. Look at their TikTok pages, bro. Like, they are teaching them how to do agriculture. Yeah. They are teaching them how to, how to build houses yeah. and all of that. And here in Mzansi, it's all about challenges. We're challenging each other. <laughs> and who knows how to dance better, eh? Yeah. Who knows how to do the really challenge, eh? Come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> guys. <laughs> yeah, hey, no, yeah, no, no. So, so, I think the government also, but I think... The government also is aware of whatever that is going Yeah, bro. I feel like it's part of the... the, the whole it plan. should be like that. Yeah, it's the plan. For people to... For, for the companies to make money. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Yeah, so... But... As, no, you can go. As we are losing, guys, in SA. Like, via TikTok, I'm telling you, guys. Like, we, we should be teaching our kids, like... Uh, something positive or... No, no, okay, yeah. But something, like, you know, to build on. Not necessarily how to dance, guys. Like, how far is dance really going to take you? Let's be honest. <laughs> okay, all these challenges that they be doing, bro. Mm. Like, we see all of that. I mean, it's good we marketing and love, promotion. We love TikTok. We love, we love TikTok. We love no cap. I mean, we also do the challenges. I mean, we're part of the system too. Let's put it like that. Yeah, we're in the system. We're part we're of the matrix. We're in it. the matrix. Thank yeah. you. That's the right word. Yeah, we, we, so yeah, now, we're caught up in the matrix, yeah. But now, like... When you come to think of it, when you go to China, bro, like they're teaching them how to build houses, then these Chinese people come here and then they come build houses this side and yeah. companies and then take over. Yeah, you know, I think you know? the, 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 system, the system is so like, how do I put it? Like, fixed in a way that I think the government controls a lot of the system and it's very like disciplined and strict, you know, so they have a disciplined way of, of life. So the government is also like part of the matrix, right? They are there in China, but here, part of the world, other part of the world, right? Yeah, the matrix is, is, is totally different. You know, it's very, very different. But which also affect... Um, recently, there was a, there, there was a, a story, there's a story in the, in the UK where um, they're saying that this, this boy, he's a 17-year-old boy, Right, mm -hmm. and then his ex girlfriend is 16, and mm -hmm. then they were going to school. Yeah, and then he saw his ex girlfriend and he wanted to go give his ex girlfriend a flower. And then the ex girlfriend's friend wanted to stop, like, because I don't know whether the boy cheated on that girl. So, the, the, the boy, the, the friend wanted to stop. Oh, boy from giving yeah, the yeah, flower. yeah, flowers, yeah. And then the boy stabbed the girl. What? Yeah, the girl is dead now. Over what, though? You know, so I think, you see, then the boy is 17. The girl is, they are teen, teenagers. So, you see, a lot of the Yo, things that guys. they see online. On social media. Yeah, it affects mm. them, you know. So, I think that that part, that part has to be... Emphasized. Yeah, yeah, I think, in a way... There should be like educational stuff for for kids on social media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. educational yeah. stuff, and then because they collect data, so they show you what your history always like. If your history is like dance and entertainment, that's what they're gonna show you because mm. they collect data. Mm. Yeah, mm. yeah. So it is what it is, you know. So but you are making money. This guy, this guy stabbed his hand, bro. Stop the hands friend for trying to, you know. Yo, guys, you see, yo, that's a big effect on social media too. Yeah. So it's probably something they saw, he, he saw online. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, I mean, the girl is dead. It's in the UK and it's all over the, the, the world. So I think um, this generation should be like taught, taught right, you know. Yeah, it's the pressure, guys. Like, it's the pressure that... It's the pressure and the influence that social media has upon upon us teens, mm. you know. Also, old people, guys. Yeah, not only that, but I'll say mostly teens, cause you know when you start, when you go on TikTok now, you'll find kids pranking their fathers, dog. 
<laughs> You'll find kids pranking their fathers, bro. Uh, and that, that, that's the, one of the most, like, Aye, dumbest. I don't, but know, I, don't think, dumb, bro. I don't think you can prank people in South Africa. How you go, how you go prank your papa? <laughs> how you go prank your papa? A guy will give birth to you. Uh, I'll slap but, you silly. But I, I, don't, I think in South Africa, right? Mm-hmm. In South Africa, you can't prank people because people are so... Oh edge. yeah, they take things literal. Bro, they, bro, yeah, right. they are on the edge, literally, guys. Yeah, bro. If you prank someone in South Africa, bro, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, you can't. You can't play pranks in South Africa, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, yeah. here you'll get whipped. Yeah, like, like straight up. Nigeria, right? Yeah. There's pranksters. A lot of pranksters, and those pranksters, bro. Like some of the things they do, they're very, it's very, very dangerous. Mm-hmm. Like, there'll be maybe a lot of people are sitting here, or or maybe people are sitting. Then you see people running. <laughs> Why are you running? <laughs> Why are you running? Why are you running? Why are you running? <laughs> ah, come on, guys. Oh, uh, wow. You see someone running, and then out of blue, if you see someone running, mm-hmm. yeah, obviously, obviously. You'll also think there's something wrong. Then you'll also start running. And then people start running. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, this is wrong. Or like this other video that I saw online of this other guy, ne? So this guy is walking. From him mm-hmm. walking, he acts okay. He sees a lady coming. Then he acts like maybe like he's ducking from something. Like something yeah, is falling. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then that lady automatically she's also going down. <laughs> my guy. Now she's she's going into the traffic. Now she's om- she was she almost hit by a car. car bro. Yeah, so, so you see how social media like social media can take you to that extent. You are gonna think you're pranking someone, but that person really has like maybe they're hot or they they very sensitive you yeah, know yeah, yeah, you can't yeah. just prank anyone guys anxiety, they have anxiety, anxiety depression. Depression, so depression so you will be trying thinking that you're pranking someone can't that person's got anxiety and then just mm. jumps in to a traf- traffic and then gets hit by a car or something yeah. and it's a, it's a so there's an extent of how you can play things on social media and mm. don't get too hooked up on it and don't be fooled by the pressure guys especially yeah. men yo guys out there like be careful bro like don't be don't be pressured up. Don't be pressured up. Okay. So yeah. Mm, so definitely, um, in a in a way, it affects. In a way, it have it have like very like you know very negative effect on on students if they are not controlled. Yes, yeah. yeah. Mm. Especially if you don't have self control, guys. Mm. Then yeah, it's, it's it's a very bad thing, guys. Yeah. Eh? So, yeah, man, guys, like, this topic is fire because, like, we've been at this topic. So there's a lot of things that really need to be said and, mm. and, and, and stated out. Maybe someone, maybe even the president will even see this and actually say, you know what, let me cancel this, all of this. Uh, nyaga cancel, nyaga. They call it nyaga nyaga. What, dog? Canceling what for what? Huh? Canceling what for what? Hey, my guy, like, so <laughs> the social media effect, bro, like, they have to so cancel that effect. So you social media for what? Yeah, what because, like, these teens, they cannot be controlled, bro. Yeah. Like, no, they, they can't have, be controlled. The, parent, the parents should control them, you know. But, bro, like, remember the parents are people who are indoors. So now what happens if your kid goes outside and meets me? Example, you know? Yeah. I influence them into this certain thing or some certain thing and yeah, then they come back home they bring that home remember that yeah but th- th- that's the thing right if the discipline at home is like you know, yeah discipline eh? yeah so yeah, the, yeah. Your, as parents you yeah, have to be strict to your kids well eh? like us growing up if i see if we are home and we see our father coming we all run away <laughs> you serious what the, he whoops you no <laughs> <laughs> So why are you, father, no. why are you running? Your father is coming, bro. You can't be sitting there like not doing anything. Oh, you have to be doing something. Yeah, you have to go get your books and learn. You can't just be sitting and watching. T- you disappear. <laughs> like the whole area, all right? Mm. If you're playing at yeah. your house and they hear my father is coming, everybody runs away. <laughs> Now you have to go get books or something. Yeah. I guess that means in the 80s it was rough, yo. No, <laughs> in the 90s or the day. The 80s 2000s. and 90s, that means it was rough during yeah, that time, rough, guys. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, but it's 2000s, guys. Have uh, that means it was rough, guys. Imagine now you see your papa yeah. and now you have to run. Why are you running, guys? <laughs> you have to be chilled, but, man. They have some punishment, right? It's called assume your position. Assume your position? Yeah. Okay. So that one, if you know your position, is the war, right? 
if they say assume your position, you have to go and stand at the wall, face the wall, the whole time. Right, that, that's what your dad says. Yeah, assume your position, and then you have to go and stand there. That's your punishment. Oh, so he says assume the position. <laughs> Then you go stand like in front of a wall, like you're on timeout. I face the wall. <laughs> hey, damn, that's crazy, guys. I was say, hey, swine, assume the position. Mm. That means you have to go there. Uh, but that means you should have done something wrong. That's what yeah, if you, yeah, def- yeah, obviously. If you do something wrong, then you have to assume the position, stand there, or you carry a brick on your head whilst assuming the position. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, it's crazy, guys. Yeah. I'd rather not. So uh, this th- this time, okay, you know every era and how, like you know, mm-hmm. yeah. So, so for our next ne- next question, ne, is like, how do you think social media influences teenagers' bodies? Or yeah, let me say teenagers' bodies. How do you think social media influences teenagers' bodies? Yeah, that's a good one. You know. Guys, this guy is a big boy. That's why all the questions are going to him. You know? Because yeah. I need advice. He's giving me advice. You understand? Yeah. yeah no, so and I hope y'all are taking. I'm also giving him advice. Yeah. And I hope y'all. And I, and I hope y'all, y'all are taking the advice. You know. I hope y'all are taking the advice too, bro. You know. Yeah. So yeah, take the advice. So yeah, bro. How do you think, in social media influences teenagers, dog? Yeah, their bodies, right? Yeah, their so, bodies. So like, um, they want to be like because of the influence, right? That let's say, a Kim Kardashian, or uh, that because Kim Kardashian is like one of the prime example. Yeah. So because of that, right? It influenced like a lot of women. Some it be like even in Africa, like I'll say, in West Africa, to go to go. Do go work on their bodies. <laughs> <laughs> so that's hey, it. Yeah, no, it does that. You're yeah. Right. So, yeah. so when the kid, maybe somebody like this, a kid who see Kim Kardashian or or maybe Kylie Jenner or someone, they will be feeling that oh, their body is perfect, right? Mm-hmm. So if I grow, I want a body like this. Oh, so that's the influence. It has like what well, they see on social media. They want to to imitate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They want to copy whatever that they see. You know. And that is true, guys. So, really, social media influences a lot on body on on teenagers' bodies, guys. Because now, for example, what he's saying, you will find a girl who's got a a, a small waist. You know, these yeah. small waist, small waist girls on on Instagram. Remember that person went through surgery. Plastic surgery, mm. Abu Kim Kardashian, they went through all that plastic surgery. Yeah, yeah, they did. They then did. you as a girl from South Africa, from the Pundus, from the Kero. Oh, but but mm. even in South Africa, right? South Africa, when it comes to the 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 the, the body. No, they could, like no yeah, cap. Like yeah, yeah. not all of them though. We have to say like at least forty percent. It's not really all of them. Mm. It's not really all of them. They yeah. got nice bodies. Yeah, yo, ladies from South Africa, you know, you got nice bodies. We appreciate you and we love y'all, you know? Mm. But I'm saying now for the ones who are being influenced by social media. So mm-hmm. now, the example I was going to make is that now you're going to find um, people, okay, like a girl from this side who's flat, no disrespect. You, you blessed. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't you blessed that. in your own way. Guys, accept what God gave you. If you got a flat, if you got a flat nyash, stay like that. If you got a nice body, stay like that, right? Yeah. So now, you're going to see... This girl on Instagram who's got a nice waist, bro, and maybe big tits and that's big nyash. That's plastic, dog. Exactly. <laughs> that's, that's, where, that's the point I was getting to, my nigga. You feel me? Guys, that's plastic. Don't be influenced by that and saying, yo, I want to look like this mm. by starving myself. You'll starve yourself to death. I'm telling you. You'll go hungry. You'll and, starve yourself. And those, 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 those people who do those plastics, they have money to be... To, to be maintain, doing all of that. Yeah, and I remember, dog, these people also that have the money to do that, they are doing it for social media. Yeah. Remember that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. They are doing that to influence the kids, the young kids, us, you know? Mm. So us, we should be smart and not be influenced by all that bull, you know? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Because, because some, of, some of the young girls also, like, try to save up money to go do plastic surgery, but they end up doing cheap 
plastic surgery. And then it ends up being like a botched up body. Have you watched botched up yeah, body? Yeah, I've watched it so Exactly. Like <laughs> <laughs> you guys, find one boob here, one boob, boob here. If you yeah. watch botched. One boob here and one boob here. <laughs> guys, watch botched up bodies. Uh, it's like, <laughs> the body like, can inflate, like, pow. <laughs> <laughs> it deflates, I'm dog. Sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, just just be honest, the other street, you know. Your body will deflate, guys. Like yeah. Pop, like pop. So appreciate what God gave you. Thank you. That's the point, guys. Appreciate what the Lord and, and, and the thing is that the thing is they want to in most cases, right? People do that to impress men. Okay, some do that to look beautiful, to look sexy and all that. You know? But yeah. some do it to impress men. But not realizing that most men actually don't care. Yeah, some people they, they just do it for the fact of it, bro. Like Yeah. Some some are the influence, like and some is a wrong influence. Yeah guys, there's there's influences and there's wrong influence. Ne? Mm-hmm. So people who influence is like people like us, like me and Red Boy Treasy, you know? We the ones who are influencing the kids to do good, guys, you know? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and to, to bring out their talent, be who you mm. are. Don't don't be fake. What you're seeing right now is the realest that you can ever get from both of us yeah, right now. There's no fake definitely. negativity. The definitely. energy is in sync. It's it's positive, it's, it's moving, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's so yeah. we're not influenced by nothing else that is out there. <clears throat> yeah. And then yeah, like I think be most, your own influence, you in know. In most cases it's like insecurities also plays a major role, you know. Insecurities, no? yeah, like yeah, because you see maybe this girl will see this thing will see this thing, and then it will have a like an an effect on that that person, you know. That person will be like timid, you know, for the yeah. That's I see what I'm noms are noms are Oh, thanks, thanks. That broad truth. Yeah, it's the truth. We're saying the truth, right? Yeah. Yeah. Truth. So, Thank you. Thank you. That's yeah, the truth. You yeah. see? So, it'll have like, um, sort of like an effect, you know, on the security. Like, you have to be yourself, you know. At the end of the day, if you, if you analyze everything, nobody cares. <laughs> like, that's, that's a fact. Nobody cares, guys. When you come to think of it, Nobody really cares, guys. Like, it's like, now I'm going to the mall, and then when I get to the mall, I'm so insecure about my shoes. I'm thinking that in my mind, dog. But now everybody else is also thinking of their own things. Yeah. Nobody really nobody, cares, nobody, bro. Everybody's, like, dealing with their Everyone own Everyone is doing their own thing, guys. But, just, but when it comes to the social media part, like, it's easy for someone to be influenced by someone else mm. because now you're thinking that person is living a lavish lifestyle yeah, yeah. or, you know, that person's life is godly than much more than yours. And especially if that person is your inspiration, then mm. you want to be like them. Yeah. And then now you end up doing the wrong things yeah. because now you want to get to that part, that you know? That part, yeah, 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 definitely. So, so stay true to yourself, definitely guys. Definitely, you have to stay true to yourself. And that will save you from a lot of, like, problems. Nah. Yeah. You know. Have you ever been out with a girl and then... Okay, wait, let me put it like this. Have you ever tried to set your girl's phone? No. <laughs> no? I know. I'm not going to say it further because we said this the last time. Mm. I would also not try and do that with my girl. You know, I respect her. I won't try to take her phone. But now she must know that if the, the man has came in, it's time to put down the phone, put down social media, go offline, interact with the man or interact with your family. It could be the okay. man or wife, you know, interact. Okay. I, I think with that, right, mm-hmm. it has to be a conversation. On its own? Yeah. Like okay. If, to be amongst, like, married people, it has to be, like, a conversation. Married people out there, please comment and let us know. It has to be, like, a conversation. It has to be, like, a conversation between married people. You know, mm-hmm. there has to be like sort of a conversation that they agree. Okay, this time to this time, because I think everything is conversation. You know, everything is about conversation, so yeah. But the kids out there, right? Just stay true to yourself. Uh, stick to your books, you know. Learn hard, don't let all these things influence you. It's fake. All these things out there is fake. It's just 
for the aesthetics, you know? Yeah, so it is what it is. Before it was what it was. Mm. Shoo. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, ladies and gents, I hope you guys have, you know, carried on and caught up with us, you know? Please accept it. Yeah, let me accept this one. Tom Dollar. Let's see what the people got for us. Let's see what you got to say. All right, let's see what these people got for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, hey, hey what's, up? Dollar. What's, what's up? up? What's up, dollar sign? Yep. How's it going? How's it, how's it, niggas? We good, good at you, bro. We're we blessed, bro. You out here talking with Kid Carvey, and this is. Rap boy cheesy. You know what it is, and we're here with AUS Media, bro. So please catch up with our topic, dog. So our topic for the day is like, what do you think social media influences the people on? Like, how do you, do you think social media has a bad, bad um effect towards teenagers or a good effect towards teenagers? Your topic, guys. Oh. I don't. I won't blame. I won't blame social media, right? It's all, you know, sometimes there are things that you can say, but it's up to human beings. What do you grab? Yeah, 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 yeah. There is bad stuff, there is good stuff. It's all right. It's up to you. What do you grab? Because social media is everywhere, bro, but it depends on the human being. What do you learn at the social media? Do you want to learn bad stuff? Do you want to learn things that are trending? Or do you want to learn lifestyle? Or what do you want to learn according to you? So your personality, you yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are playing social media. Social media is the thing like because of social media. Now it's simple for young young musicians to be recognized because of social media. So I can't say okay, fine. It's it's, it's two way thing, right? It's good and bad, but it only depends on the human being. You yourself, you are the one who's choose what you want to learn or what you want to get from social media. Okay. No, that's a good point. That's how I think, uh, that's, a, that's a very good point, my brother. That's a really a good point. Why, why, are you, why are you joining us from? I'm joining you guys from Joburg, South Africa. Oh, okay. Joburg, South Africa. Yeah, we are also live in, from Joburg, South Africa. Kunjali? <laughs> I'm in anyway. I'm in I'm in Oh, in the Okay, okay. No, no. Thanks. Thanks for joining. Thanks. Thanks for joining. Yeah. I'm in Kelvin. Anyway, guys, it was nice joining you. And YouTube is powerful, eh? Yeah, thank you. But don't, don't go. We, we, we're going to do a, a performance for you. A live performance. Yeah, because we are artists. Yeah, we are artists also. So just stay tuned. Just keep, don't go. Just stay tuned and enjoy. Yeah? Yeah, I'll be, I'll be, I'm chilling, I have no rush, but I don't okay. know why, I don't 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 know why, I yeah, you want to do two songs? Okay, one. Let me do okay, one no, song. No, 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 let him do two. Yeah, can no, do two. no, you do. I do one, you do one, and then we end it. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm doing a song called Rihanna, right? It's out on all streaming platforms. All streaming platforms, yeah. baby. Check it out on YouTube, Apple Music, Spotify, Everywhere. you name it. Yeah, definitely. So tune in. The song is called... Yeah, the song is called Rihanna. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Ska, ska, mogu, 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 mogu. Yeah. I go by the name of Rabbi Thank Thanks for tuning yeah. in. Inti Plaza, I'm out here. Yeah. I'm out here. Inti Plaza, I'm Hey, Rihanna. We have a sexy girl, Rihanna. Let's do the do, Rihanna. You need me and you, daddy. Mbappe, 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 Mbapp
she said this dog, Rari, me not make call, Riri, oh boy, she can Billy, Julie, Julie, yeah, yeah, Julie, Julie, I kill the boss, 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 I kill the boss, 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 let's go. Hey, Rihanna, we have a sexy girl, Rihanna, let's do the do, Rihanna, you need me and you, daddy, eh, daddy, ah, daddy. Sauce, yo, 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 you guys still on, you guys still on, you guys still on, right? Look, you guys still here. So yeah, guys, um, now it's one more performance by me, myself, and I, obviously, of course. That was Rihanna by Rap Boy Treasy out on every digital platforms, baby. And yeah, guys, me and Rap Boy Treasy just dropped the challenge on TikTok. So I hope you guys see that and, you know, take the challenge. Oh, by the way, if you guys actually do take the challenge and win the challenge, there's a prize waiting for you at AUS Media, guys, you know? Yeah, so, yeah, there's a prize waiting for you guys. So, if you guys take the challenge and do the challenge yeah. and do the do, Rihanna, just do the do, you know? Then there's a prize waiting for you. Yeah. But, yeah, guys, I'm about to perform a song for you guys called um, Thorns and Roses by Kid Carvey. And I hope you like it. So, this track, I wrote it for my, I don't want to say it, but, yeah, you'll hear what the lyrics I. My bad, my bad, ladies and gents. I just almost played you guys a song that was unmixed and unmastered. So I'm so sorry for that. I'm gonna take it back and then just try and fix this issue. Sorry, guys. Yo, can you just please keep the people entertained here? You know the song that I like the most, right? Mm -hmm. Why didn't you perform that one? Which one? That song. Called it out, you. Yeah. It's on. Okay, wait, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah. You're right, you're right. So let's. Yeah, he's, guys, he has a song which, you know, is really, really dope. Yeah. So, he's going to perform that one for you guys, you know. So stay tuned, don't go anywhere. If you, if you just join the live, we're coming to you live from the US Media Studios. Yes, sir. So, guys, this is a track, actually, that, uh, that I dropped a few days ago, Cold Cold Without You. This is one of the best tracks that I ever did. And I hope you guys really love it, man. So tune in and catch up with us. So it's cold, cold without you, ladies and gentlemen. No, it rock goes cold without you. Hey, yo, smoke me down. It's about 
about that time of the night, you know. To come to you, to come to you. If I gotta tell you all my secrets, I fuck with you, and that's the truth, and that's the truth. Baby girl, you got a nigga right in the mood. To come to you, to come to you. If I gotta tell you all my secrets, I fuck with you, and that's the truth. Yeah. Baby, can you fuck up, fuck up for me? I'ma make you better, fuck and believe That I'ma make you wetter and flood your sheets Get discreet, I want you on your knees And suck this sheesh I would've been okay if I lost you I wouldn't even be at your funeral Cause I'd be in jail for killing all the ones who mocked you Let me take you to the States Have you like a steak Stick with all the good taste till I can relate Yeah, baby, I'm just tryna put you on another page Let you out the cage so we could be on age Yeah, yeah, I'm living young, I'm living free Man, I live a good life for I wanna be See, I'm burning all my enemies Then I hit them back with the bad energy Baby, girl, you got a nigga right in the mood To come to you, to come to you If I gotta tell you all my secrets, I fuck with you And that's the truth, and that's the truth Baby, girl, you got a nigga right in the mood to come to you, to come to you. If I gotta tell you all my secrets, I fuck with you. And that's the truth, and that's the truth. Told me she ain't never seen the top of love I give. Told me she ain't mad, I ain't never bought a gift. Skipping class, writing verses, trying to cut myself a whip. Even when they doubted, she say, Promise you'll never quit. Now my heart cold, hit the side on my own. Moon bounce through those editing without a credit. Speaking off them pills that she got me in my zone. See the things I say, no, I don't ever regret it. Wait for life, fall to the suicide rope. I ain't choke when I spit, it's like I make rivers flow. It's like I make rivers flow. Yeah. Grateful I ain't fall to the suicide rope I ain't choke when I spit it's like I make rivers flow And I ain't never ever gonna need her Cause, Cause I made a promise to my baby, niggas Baby, you got a nigga right in the mood To come to you To come to you If I gotta tell you all my secrets I fuck with you And that's the truth And that's the truth Baby, you got a nigga right in the mood To come to you To come to you If I gotta tell you all my secrets I fuck with you And that's the truth yeah. With you, and that's the truth, yeah. Baby, you got a nigga right in the mood to come to you. If I gotta say all my secrets, I fuck with you, and that's the truth, yeah. Baby, you got a nigga right in the mood hey, to come to you, yeah. If I gotta say all my secrets, I fuck with you. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, so that's the case. Buy a new play, cool without you. To come out on YouTube, but soon to be dropping all the digital platforms, guys. Yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a track by me called Cold Without You featuring Insanity Cat, my nigga, obviously. So, yeah, um, the song is dropped out on YouTube, and I hope you guys like it. And soon to be dropped on every platform, guys. So you're going to find it on Spotify, iTunes, whatever platform you want to check it out on Apple Music. And, yeah, it's going to be there. So, guys, I hope you actually enjoyed this whole show of us. This is Let me do the... coming up by you <laughs> by Rap Boy Cheesy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, thank you so much for joining us. If you just join, you are joined on the live session. What do we call this, bro? Interrupt uh, live session with the invasion. Uh, the invasion, yeah, yeah, the invasion. We, the social media invasion. invasion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We invading your your space, you know. No, so you got positive and negative, right? Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yeah, let's kill it. So this is a track by Red Boy Treezy called Positive and Negative. You know, if you got a positive side, shout out to you. If you got a negative side, I hate you. Because I don't like negative people. Me, I'm always on a positive vibe and I'm always positive. No, so we just convert them. Honestly. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's kill it, bro. Yeah. 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 Caesar. For the streets, man. Let's go. Let's go. What? Thanks for joining. Just join us. Just join us. What? Why? Thanks for joining. I go by the name Rambo. Yeah. Positive. Negative. Positive. Negative. Positive. Negative. Positive. Negative. Positive. Negative. Positive. Negative. Positive. 
Negative, positive, Niggas be wanna be, I be the real G Teach them ABCD, show the wanna be On your TV, see me on your TV On your TV, see me on your TV Back in my lay back, and I lay back Come me kick in the boo back Niggas the talk trash but I know the rush, your attitude be appalling Walk my best, me overhauling They be boring, they be dulling All the honeys, them applauding Run, run, run the city, yeah Bad bitch, you show me titty, yeah Bad energy, I win, yeah Get out of the way, yeah See, we know the play, yeah Get out of the way, yeah See, we know the play, yeah Not fake from China, be bad boy from Ghana Bad bitch, black China Bad boy from Ghana, get bad bitch, black China Let's get yeah. up yeah, bad bitch black China Bad bitch, bad, bad bitch black China Positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, 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 energy be offside, carry go that one side, my Bible for one side, my chopper for the other side, attitude to the latitude, my blow up be magnitude, time up. Substitute, A C substitute. Niggas be wanna be, I be the real G. Teach them A B C D. Show the wonder D. On your TV, see me on your TV. On your TV, see me on your TV. Positive, negative, 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 positive. Negative, positive, negative. negative. Thank you so much. That was positive, negative by myself. But what do you got? Where, where can they find the track, bro? It's on all streaming platforms. You know, could get it everywhere. Um, the official music video is coming out soon for both positive and negative and Rihanna. And then let them say it'll be out soon. And where can they find let them say? Let them say it will be out soon. You know, let them say we'll be on the platform soon. So, stay tuned. What? Well, what is the what is the what you call? What's the the meaning behind let them say? Uh, um, let them say is basically like a like a wedding song. You know, so all that I'm saying in the song is um, um, let let people talk. Let let them say whatever that they have to say. Someone wants to join us. Okay. <clears throat> Hi right, guys. Hey, what's, Yo, what's up? up, bro? You good? Peace, bro. Where are you joining us from, my nigga? From Legos. Oh. Shout out. Shout out Legos. Shout out Legos for viewing, bro. Afa, afa now, afa. Yeah, hey, yeah, hey. Yeah, no, we we live in from Joburg, Johannesburg, South Africa. We live from Johannesburg, South Africa. I'm saying we live from Johannesburg, South Africa. Oh, really? Yeah. Thanks for joining me. Yeah. We're having a live session with our audience, so thank you so much. We really appreciate, you know, you joining. Yeah. So I hope you're going to tune in, bro. I'm about to play you my favorite song right now that is out on YouTube, guys. This one is called... Uh, blow me a chick, kid copy by blow me a chick. So I hope you guys love this and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, ladies and gents, so this one is called Blow Me a Chick, right? South Boy. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out Icy Fox. Yeah. Look, I'm about to blow me a chick. They from my pressure, my feet on their neck. I chill but I don't even flex Cause shawty relieving my pain with the sex I'm about to, I'm about to blow me a chick They feel my pressure, my feet on their neck yeah. I chill but I don't even flex Cause shawty relieving my pain with the sex They know that I'm coming with heat Till these niggas are claiming the E Carvey's back with a plan and a potion I got it on motion with sanity C 
The beat is by Icy Fox I'm a lyrical genius when I stitch art She call me Dr. Mo when I beat it and eat it Cause she knows that I stitch hearts If you ain't fucking with me or my niggas You know that you probably gon' leave us alone You know we lead you wherever we pull up But all of my niggas we speed in the show If you ain't fucking with me or my niggas You know that you probably gon' leave us alone You know we lead you wherever we pull up But all of my niggas we speed in the show hey, I'm about to blow me a chick Hit for my pressure, my feet on they nick I gym, but I don't even fix Cause shawty relieving my pain with the sick I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to blow me a chick Take for my pressure, my feet on they nick I gym, but I don't even fix Cause shawty relieving my pain with the six. I got me a baddie at that My flows are too dirty, I need me a mop She making a clap when she get on my top Licking me clean when she suck on my clock Licking my confidence, turning to cockiness I got niggas who just try to copy this If you money, that pull out the confidence It's a Maza, you know that we out of this I'm about to blow me a chick Hit for my pressure, my feet on they nick Gym, but I don't even flex Cause shawty relieving my pain with the sick I'm about to, I'm about to, okay. I'm about to blow me a chick Hit for my pressure, my feet on they nick I gym, but I don't even flex Cause shawty relieving my pain with the six. Ladies and gentlemen, that one is called Blow Me A Check by Kid Card. It's also out on YouTube and soon to be out on every platform. And I hope you guys like my performance, our performance. It's your boy Kid. Oh damn! It's your boy Kid Card and it's your boy Rap Boy Trees. Yes, you know what it is. Should we play that 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 joint? Them no, that one's an exclusive, guys. You can't play the exclusive. So, guys, I hope you guys actually really, 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 really fucked up our performance and our topic for the day, guys. Thank you for everybody who tuned in, actually, and who watched everything, and you know, for the comments as well. We love you guys from all around the world. Yeah. Wherever you guys are tuning in from, we love you guys. Mad love. This is yeah. AUS Media. Please check out AUS Media TV on YouTube, AUS Media underscore on TikTok. And AUS Media Productions on Instagram yeah. and AUS Media on Facebook, guys. And then you obviously find us. So, guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed this session and I hope you guys enjoyed this live. So, yeah, guys, we're yeah. about to be out, man. Yeah, definitely. Thank you so much for joining us. So, we meet again when? Another day, tomorrow. Another day. Yeah. And it's gonna be another banker. <laughs> yeah, most definitely, most definitely, most definitely. Yeah. So guys, yo, hope you guys enjoyed this, man. We are about to be out, man. And to all of all, all the all around the world, we love you guys. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for showing love. And yeah, man, we out, man. Cheers. Baby, baby, go get a nigga right in the mood to come to you. To come to you. If I gotta tell you all my secrets, I fuck with you, and that's the truth, and that's the truth. Baby, go get a nigga right.